Last month, the whole of the art world headed out to Berlin to mark the opening of the world's first urban contemporary art museum. Now that the dust has settled on the whole event, here's what went down. My name's Doug, you're watching Fifth Wall TV. As always, make sure you follow this page on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, the lot of them. Grab your phone right now. Open up Instagram. Fifth Wall TV. Bang. Whoa. That content looks original and fresh. Boom. Follow. You're already following. I like you. So this is the art mile in the background and the art mile is a strip that goes between, here we go, Nollendorf Platz and Bulostrauss. Nailed it. Urban contemporary art is the name that you tend to hear a lot when you hear street art being applied outside of the street. When you hang art in a gallery, it cannot be called street art. Urban contemporary is the bracket that it falls into. For the high-end collectors and gallerists, for years the term street art, spray paint, has been something of a, a kind of like a dirty word and now more than ever it feels like it's here to stay and it has to be taken seriously. Uh, on this side, of the, this side of the screen you can see art installations going up and then on this side of the screen you can see a hooker. So it's, uh, I guess, Diverse? The museum itself consists of 150 different pieces of art selected by 10 of the scene's most respected curators. Collectively, it offers up a broad representation of all the different factions of what we understand urban contemporary art to be. As you walk through the doors, you're met with this monstrous shepherd fairy saddled next to a Tristan Eaton, two of the biggest artists on the mural scene and quite a telling indicator of what to expect inside. The idea of a street art museum is always going to be relatively divisive. I mean, the entire ethos of this movement was built as an antithesis of everything that institutions stand for. Maybe it's more of a telling indicator that that revolutionary and rebellious attitude that was once at the start has now kind of grown up, got kids and wants to settle down somewhere a bit more permanent. Looking at the scene itself, there are a few more qualified to step up to this challenge than Yasha Young and the Urban Nation brand. The entire authenticity of the museum is kind of validated through the likes of Icy and Saw and Vader, but probably most significantly me was the inclusion of Berlin's One Up crew. Hosting the museum in Berlin, it would be really missing a huge hole if they weren't part of it. First and foremost, I think it's important we understand that a museum exists to educate, unlike a gallery which exists for profit. Whether or not you agree with the idea of a street art museum, I think few will deny the importance of having a centre to educate people on the contribution that this movement and these artists within it have made to art history. That said, this wouldn't be Fifth Wall TV unless we went a little bit deeper than the press release and I want to take a closer look at what we're actually looking at within the museum or, more importantly, what we're not looking at. The Martha Cooper Library is not only a great touch, but an essential feature in their decision to take on this role of educators. At the end of the day, I'm just some guy reporting from his bedroom, and I know that the amount of work that goes on to put something this huge is unmatched. That said, I feel I have to cover my back by maintaining a role of consistency in everything I report. As much respect as I have for every single person that helped bring this to life, I do still have concerns on how this is gonna impact the residents of the surrounding area. There's a familiarity in the air of these low-income multicultural social housing blocks sitting next to these internationally desirable new builds. And if I was a resident of the former, I'm not going to lie, I'd probably be feeling a little bit nervous right now. Having seen areas like Wynwood and Shoreditch transform seemingly overnight, I think we have an increasingly important duty to ensure that no matter how far this scene moves forward, the artwork has to inspire, benefit and reflect the residents of the community in which this exists because the second it's reduced to a strapline on a website or a soundbite for a camera, there's a huge disconnect. 
If you are planning to visit Berlin anytime soon, which you should be, I 100% recommend adding a visit to the Urban Nation Contemporary Art Museum, damn it, to the Urban Nation Con Museum of Contemporary Art, Museum of Con Urban Contemporary Art, Urban Nation Museum of Urban Contemporary Art. If you are planning to visit Berlin anytime soon, which you should be, I definitely recommend adding a trip to the Urban Nation Museum of Urban Contemporary Art to your schedule. You try saying that. My name's Doug. This was Fitful TV. Thank you.